Following breaking news uh, just outside of Vancouver this morning, we've been showing you the uh, pictures of that train trestle on fire. Clark County fire crews working on that. Let's get to Valerie Hurst, who is near the scene. She's on the telephone with us right now. Valerie? Hi, I can tell you that they're making some good progress out here, Carl. In fact, uh, we'll take a look at some live photos uh, from our camera over here near the scene so that you can see just uh, the white smoke. It's just billowing now over the tracks. A very different scene from even an hour ago uh, there were, where it was just a line of orange flames going down this track. It was really uh, very uh, impressive how fast that they, they've been trying to put this fire out, and it was a difficult one for them. Uh, it still is, and that's basically just because there's, uh, if you picture the tracks, the wood of the tracks, of course, is fuel. There's cream soaps on it, uh, just the weather conditions themselves. So the firefighters are saying that this has uh, definitely been a challenge. These tracks also, uh, if you look at the picture that I shot from where I'm standing, I'm looking along Northeast 87, they had to string so much hose to get down to the scene, so even just access to the fire made it an extra challenge and a struggle for fire crews out here. So here's a, an interesting point, something that I've learned from uh, talking to neighbors around here. They tell me that they've had a lot of activity along the tracks over the last uh, couple of months or so. Uh, even last night, a neighbor tells me he heard a lot of hooting and hollering, a lot of noise down there in the field surrounding the tracks. Uh, one woman over here telling me that she even called 911 a couple weeks ago because there were transients on the tracks, had even set up a tent, and were uh, apparently living along the tracks. That is something fire investigators confirmed for me that the county is looking into. So uh, that could be the situation. Could have been something like a cigarette butt that was flicked along the tracks. Who knows? But they're looking into it, and we'll continue to give you the latest development. Back to you. That is an interesting bit of information, Val. Thank you. Definitely, if there were people down there, give them some better insight as, as to what might have sparked that fire.